and welcome to a video on limiting reactants. In this video we are given moles for mul multiple reactants and we need to find moles of a product. The key to solving a limiting reactant problem is first identifying it, then also to identify the limiting reactant itself and use that to calculate the amount of product. Alright, so looking at this example we have how many moles of carbon dioxide can be produced by 3 moles of propane and 10 moles of oxygen combusting. So we have our fuel, that's the propane, plus O2 gives CO2 and H2O. And then we'll balance that. And we'll write what we're given. I like to write it directly underneath. 3 moles of propane and 10 moles of oxygen. All right. Now, just looking at this problem, I can tell that I'm going to make 6 moles of CO2. And I can do that just because I'm used to um, thinking about things like hamburgers or hot dogs and buns. So let's take a sidestep just for a minute and do interpreting chemical reactions. So we have C3H8 plus 5O2 going to 3 CO2s and 4 H2O. When we write this, this is really saying that for every one mole of the propane, I need 5 moles of O2. And I get that by the coefficients, the numbers out in front for the balanced chemical reaction. It also means, so I see that for every 3 moles of that propane, oh, then I need 3 times 5, or 15 moles of O2. Now looking at that, now uh, that's from the balanced chemical reaction. Now I look at the given amounts. I'm given 3 moles of propane and 10 moles of O2. Well, for every 3 moles of propane, I need 15 moles of oxygen. I don't have 15, I only have 10. So I don't have enough O2. That means that O2 is the limiting reactant. Now let's get back to our other problem. Using this logic, and because the numbers are easy to work with, I see that the O2 is my limiting reactant. So I'm going to use that 10 moles that I'm given to calculate the amount of product. Now this is for method B. And with method B, each time in these videos, we've been doing the ratios. All right, so what is the ratio? Well, I want to ratio the O2 and the CO2, because that's what I'm looking at. So 3 moles of CO2 comes from 5 moles, I need to write moles, of O2. Well, if that's the truth, then how many moles of CO2 can I get from 10 moles of O2? When I cross multiply and solve for x, I get that x is 6 moles of CO2 can be produced. The oxygen is the limiting reactant, and I will have some propane left over. This is method B for doing the limiting reactant problem. Hope you'll watch the next video as well if you'd like to prefer to have a different method.